Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic Wednesday. For today's message we're going to be looking at the Divine Masculine Energies and we can begin with the first card. Everything is easier hand in hand with my Divine Partner. Together we can face anything. Yeah, we're moving forward and we're doing it together. It's, very, it's a very logical process, one and one equals two. Just put one foot in front of the other. You don't tell yourself where the foot goes, the divine does. Life will tell you, based on how you feel. You can't go back or forward. It's time to make a new choice. And any block that's in front of you, because it's in front of me too, is serving to redirect you into the new choice of love. Yeah, new choices are being made that will bring us to this goal. Oh, and what a lovely goal that is. That's a very good card. Um, triumph and success. And complete freedom, because we have complete freedom with each other. More so than with someone else, or more so than on our own. You're always most free with your twin flame. So plunge into love. We're doing the right thing here. Number six for harmony, union, equality. The right thing to do, figuring it out. Won a battle. You will succeed, whatever the challenge. You will receive recognition of a job well done. People are supporting you and seeing your achievements. A public declara declaration, a marriage proposal. Something in the public eye. I'm watching you. You're tantalising me. I, quite, I can quite honestly say that I don't like other people looking at you. There'll be public acknowledgement of the achievement, whatever you give your best efforts to, and skill and dedication to, it will culminate with pride and accolades. Be humble and don't ex accept attention as a given. Show appreciation for those who supported you and continue to stand with you. It simply means that you're finally winning. winning. You've come from a long and difficult road and now you're finally reaping the rewards of your sacrifices. And you can now rest easy and sleep soundly without worrying what I'm doing. Or what I'm doing or not doing or saying or not saying. You've finally reached the stability and peace that you've been wanting for so long. No more tears, no more heartaches. But just power and positivity. You've regained these back into the connection. You have my admiration and you have everyone's admiration for, for sticking by your love through thick and thin and making the connection better and stronger. This connection has never been better and happier. You're on the road to happier and better days. Not everyone can achieve what you have, so give yourself a pat on the back and be thankful for having this kind of strength and determination. Be proud of this connection, including the battle scars that you've collected over the years. This is what makes relationships beautiful. Going through, through the bad together and we're going to be enjoying the good together. You made the decision to fight for your love and that's something to be really proud of. You are feeling really, really good about yourself. So you should be feeling good about me as well. Everything is energetically charged with passion and adoration. You feel alive and on top of the world. You're, if you're wondering what I'm feeling towards you, please know that I really adore you and I think that you're amazing. You are the love of my life and the light of my life. Your love helps me to let go of doubts and fear. Your spirit holds me close and your love gives me hope to know that not even the darkness can cause me to lose my way. Your love and light renews my faith in God and gives me strength to get through the day. So, yeah, it's your heart light that's guiding me home and, and your heart light is burning brighter and lighter. You're radiating more and more light. And that is my lighthouse. That is my, you are my beacon. You are bringing your true love home. And it's simple, it can be easy. Most of society doesn't understand how reality works. Don't know how to get the big divine things. 
we're being presented with an easier way here so it's safe to choose the easier way there's no need to make it hard don't worry about what looks wrong and see the truth the journey is not meant to be hard but it's full of awesome riches Ooh. Yeah, love is growing, love is blossoming, love is coming online. Now, be prepared for a wonderful surprise, because the divine is like that. God is swift. You may be surprised at any moment with new love, new inspiration, being ready for love. I know what I'm after. I might not know how to say it. There's communication coming in, but how? Remember the divine might not show you things in the way that you're expecting. Maybe I'm not verbalising things yet. Yeah, I've got, I'm in an obsessive energy. Uh, I do wonder if you're with others. And nobody can want you like I do. I want to present something to you and I'm a little bit worried if it's not enough. We're both being invited to turn to our inner self, our soul, and look for the well of love, sympathy, and ha harmony, and readiness for reconciliation there. I'm inviting you to drink from this well and then turn back to the outside world and approach every being with this love, sympathy, and harmony. You're going to receive romantic news from me. You might not even have the faintest clue that I harboured warm feelings for you. I'm a hopeless romantic. With a very sensitive and beautiful soul, I just lack a bit of confidence. It's going to be a romantic period where we'll be opening up ourselves romantically to a new level. There's a spiritual aspect to this relationship and we're connecting on a deeper level. I'm coming with a sort of making it right quality and within that an accepting of wrongdoing quality. Because accepting and trying to heal our mistakes is an act of love and a creative act. It requires us to look into ourselves for that will of love and put aside self-motivated, petty, angry thoughts. Yeah, the suggestion is that there's going to be a big surprise. Our hearts and minds are open. We trust in our own spirit and let it guide us. This is really good news. You're someone who are able to overcome all those lower emotions and live happily and gently in the moment, finding these opportunities for love. Well, this is all about the opportunity being offered. And the answer I'm going to give you is yes and thank you. Yeah, I will have a bit of this loving energy as well. Thank you very much. You're being taught to trust your own intuition and be open to the multitude of intuitive messages coming your way. Look for the synchronicities and signs from nature that will guide you on the, your path. They may come from unexpected places or may not even make sense to your rational mind. Be open to the possibility and be ready to discover new aspects of yourself. It's like following intuitive breadcrumbs. One intuitive clue leads to the next thing and the next and the next and before you know it, you find yourself in a place of full alignment, happiness and bliss. All by trusting your intuition and going with the flow. I want to marry you one day when the time is right. You know, it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah, the only reason I might not have asked you to marry you marry me just yet is because everything happens in divine order and it's okay to allow the divine order to play out. But it's also about connection about union we're going deeper we're going deeper into commitment here i am part of all life and infinitely connected to spirit and my soul tribe i embrace all connections and make i make on this sacred journey and your people are here to help you along this journey even the annoying ones even the ones that are just stepping stones on the journey rather than long-term friendships or connections and don't see any pauses on the journey as slowing down 
bet between you and your dreams. And the pauses are actually enabling you to get there. The journey is a curved, winding path. It's not for you to know or control what's around the next bend, just for you to surrender to, and then you can really get your journey with life and the divine. I worry that there are others who love you and can offer you more than I can, so it's a, certainly a theme of this message. I do feel a little bit insecure. I do feel like how you can have anyone you want, so why would you choose me? But can you feel me in your heart right now, choosing you too? Occasionally you may get a curved ball because you didn't expect it, but only because there were expectations in the first place. So just surrender to the journey. <clears throat> and when you let that happen naturally, without control, because you're delighting in this moment now. If you're delighting in this moment now, you will delight in what's around the next corner and the next. So be happy now. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope that you enjoyed it and I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.